This video will introduce you to the standard operating procedure for performing cyclic voltammetry with the department's bioanalytical systems electrochemical station. The electrochemical experiment is performed in the small glass container on the stand to the right of your computer. The electronics that control the experiment and perform current measurements are housed in this tower just beyond the electrochemical cell. The working electrode in today's demonstration is a glassy carbon electrode. It has been polished with a fine grade alumina in order to keep it clean. Polishing and the electrode care will be demonstrated in another video. Slide the electrode through one of the holes in the top of the cell stand. A second electrode is necessary to complete the electrical circuit. This electrode is often referred to as the counter or auxiliary electrode. We will be using a platinum wire for that purpose. A third electrode, known as the reference electrode, is also included in the circuit. In our case, we will be using a silver-silver chloride half cell whose potential we can calculate. The voltage we apply to the working electrode is referenced to the standard voltage of this half cell. Connect the alligator clip for the black lead to the working electrode. The red lead should be connected to the platinum counter electrode. And the white lead should be connected to the silver, silver chloride reference electrode. Make sure that none of the alligator clips touch any of the other connections. Sample solutions are held conveniently inside small weighing bottles. Slide the opening of the bottle up and around the electrodes from below. Then slide the small platform underneath the bottle. Place the plastic tube from the nitrogen line through the remaining hole in the cap. Slide the tube down into the liquid. Behind the computer, open the nitrogen line by turning the handle only a few degrees counterclockwise. You want the nitrogen to bubble gently through the solution as shown here. Don't let it splash. Turn on the power for the electrochemical station with a red rocker switch at the back of the tower. Turn on the computer monitor next, then turn the power on to the computer. You can log into the network now or cancel and do this later. Launch the software by clicking the red BAS icon. Click on the blue box to remove it. Click on Mode from the menu on the top of the screen. In this demonstration, we will do a voltage sweep experiment called cyclic voltammetry, or CV for short. Next, choose the term general from the parameters menu. Set the initial voltage or potential at minus 1000 millivolts. We will scan out to a high voltage of plus 1000 millivolts. Then we will scan back to a low value of minus 1000 millivolts. The initial scan direction will be positive. We will accept the default scan rate of 100 millivolts per second. We will choose two segments, which means we will scan in the negative direction, that's one segment, and then back in the positive direction, that's the second segment. In order to keep the signal on scale, we will set the sensitivity to 10 to the minus 4 amperes. Pull the nitrogen tube up above the liquid level, but let it continue to purge the oxygen out of the headspace above our sample. Give the solution a few seconds to get quiet. Start the scan by clicking Run. As the voltage sweeps from the negative value on the far right of the screen, very little current passes until we reach a voltage positive enough to oxidize the iron in the plus two state to the iron 
in your plus three state. Oxidation current increases in the downward direction. However, it peaks out as the depletion layer grows around the electrode. When we scan back in the negative direction, we see a return peak that corresponds to the conversion of the iron plus two product back into the oxidized starting material. If you exit the screen, you can display the results again by choosing Single Plot. The computer will optimize the scale in the process. At the top of the screen, click on the word Value. If you now click on a peak, the height in amperes and the position on the voltage axis for the peak will be displayed at the bottom left-hand portion of the screen. You can also have the computer display the information automatically. Choose Automatic under the Result menu. The peak height, area, and voltage will appear in the box in the lower right-hand corner. Data for this run has not yet been saved. Exit the screen and choose the word Save under the File menu. File names can have a maximum of six characters. Before transferring to a new solution, or before shutting down for the day, remove the sample container and rinse the electrodes using the bottle of deionized water. At the end of the day, replace the reference electrode into its storage solution. Turn off the nitrogen gas. Turn the power off on the back of the electrochemical system. Shut down the computer and monitor and sign the logbook.